dear students let us continue the chapter construction now let us continue the exercise 2 and the third question of that exercise the question is draw a circle of radius 3 cm take two points p and q on one of its extended diameter each at a distance of 7 cm from its center draw tangents to the circle from these two points p and q according to the question in the first step what you have to do we have to draw the circle of radius 3 cm and we have to draw the diameter and the diameter must be extended to the length p and q one side you must extend it to it to the point p and the other side you must extend it to the point q they are the points on the extended diameter now let us observe the construction media here we have to draw the circle of 3 cm radius measure 3 cm radius and draw the circle it is a circle of radius 3 cm and you will get a center here and from that center you must draw the line passing through that center and here the distance between P and Q is 14 cm because P and Q are at a distance of 7 cm from the center so you draw the line of 14 cm the end points are P and Q they are on the extended part of the diameter they are on the extended diameter so here this is the point O which is the center of the circle and this is a point P and this is a point Q they are on the diameters they are on the extended diameter now here OP is one part OQ is one part and with P as a center you draw the curve more than half above and below to have the bisector of the line OP with O as a center cut the previous curve with the same radius don't change the radius then you will get a bisector here here also on the part OQ take more than half and draw above and below and with O as a center cut the previous curve with the same measurement to get the bisector don't change the measurement here on both the curve must intersect so here we have to make them intersect with the same radius don't change the radius once you taken from the point Q and O the same length must be there now you join the point of intersection now you will get the bisector of the line OP this is the bisector of the line OP and you got the midpoint and here also this is the bisector of the line OQ it gives the midpoint of the line OQ in this way you got the midpoints to draw the circle with the diameter OP and diameter OQ now you draw the circle with the diameter OP here this is the radius and you will get a circle with the diameter OP the circle passes through the point P and O now again you draw the circle from this point with the diameter OQ this circle also passes through the point O and Q here OQ is a diameter you have, you have to draw the tangents from P and Q therefore you have to draw the bisector to the OP and OQ to get the midpoint now the point at which the circles meet that becomes the point of contact join them to the point Q as they are the tangents from the external point Q so you got two tangents from the point Q here And also join the points at which the circles meet join this point the point at which circle meet to the point P that is the tangent and also join the other two points that is P and the other point of contact 
you will get the second tangent from the point P. In this way you got two tangents from P and two tangents from Q. You can give any name here. This is PQPR and QX, QY. Here Q and Q are the different points here. In this way we got the tangents to the circle from the point P and Q which are the points on the extended diameter. P and Q are the points on the extended diameter and we got the tangents from the points P and Q to the given circle of radius 3 cm. Now the fourth question, fourth construction of that exercise. Draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 5 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degree. In this construction, the radius of the circle is given. We have to draw the circle of radius 5 cm. And we have to draw the tangents, a pair of tangents which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degree. It means the angle between the tangent from the external point is 60 degree. Angle between the tangent at the external point is 60 degree. Here we have to construct the tangent, pair of tangents in such a way that the angle between them at the external point is 60 degree. Means they are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degree. The radius is of 5 cm. So you write R equals 5 cm. R equals 5 cm. Angle between the tangent is 60 degree. The tangents are inclined at an angle of 60 degree. And you take that angle P is 60 degree. And angle O is equals to 180 degree minus 60 degree. That is the angle at the center between the radii. So, 180 degree minus 60 degree is equals to 120 degree. 180 degree minus 60 degree equals 120 degree. Now, you measure 5 centimeter. Take the compass with a radius of 5 centimeter. We have to draw the circle. So, you take the compass and measure 5 centimeter radius. Get exact measurement of the radius. We have to draw the circle of radius 5 cm. So, we get exact measurement. Now, you consider one center. Mark one point to take as a center. With that center as a radius, draw the circle of. With that center, draw the circle of radius. 5 cm. You got the circle of radius 5 cm. This is the circle. Now you join the center and a point on the circle to get one radius. So you get one radius. And this is a point A and joint. OA is joint. OA is the radius. OA is the radius. And angle between the two radii is 120 degree. So you take the protractor and measure 120 degree. Measure 120 degree. Measure 120 degree. Angle between the radii is. Count it, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 you got here. Mark that point and draw the second radius with an angle of 120 degree. So this is the second radius with an angle of 120 degree. OA is one radius, OB is another radius with an angle 120 degree. So the angle at the center is 120 degree angle A equals angle B you know that is 90 degree here you must draw the tangent at A so the tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact A is the point of contact so you take the protractor and draw the line with an angle of 90 degree this is one of the method of drawing the perpendicular 
with the help of the protector by measuring an angle 90 degree you can draw the perpendicular at a that becomes the tangent join that point to the point of contact a you got one tangent again at a point b you measure 90 degree and draw the line which becomes the tangent at a point b measure 90 degree that is also perpendicular to B and becomes the tangent at B. So you got tangent at A and also by joining that point to B you get you will get another tangent. Both the tangent meet at a point P. So here you got a point P and this is 120 degree and angle P must be equals to 60 degree. You measure and you will get that exactly it is 60 degree as angle O is 120 degree angle P must be equals to 60 degree in this way see here it is 60 degree in this way you got the tangents which are inclined at an angle of 60 degree this is one of the method of drawing the perpendicular at A and B and you got the tangent AP and BP which are inclined at an angle of 60 degree There is one more method to draw the perpendicular at the point of contact. Now you are you got the two radii with an angle 120 degree. Now you can draw the perpendicular or you can draw the 90 degree angle without using the protractor by using the compass. So you draw the curve here that is equals to 5 centimeter with a measurement of the radius you draw the curve and the circle and curve meet at a point and with the point as a center you draw the curve to meet the intersect the previously drawn curve like this way with the first and the second curve meet at a point this is the third point and you will get a point of intersection of the second curve and third curve and join that point to the point of contact that is the end of the radius so here this is the point at which the radius meet the circle and join that point to the point of intersection of the second and third curves so you got a tangent at one point of contact and again here you are having one more radius and with the point on the circle of the radius draw the curve of the same radius you get this is the first curve and this first curve and the circle meet at one point here they meet at this point and draw the second curve with the same measurement of the radius like this way next first curve and second curve meet at a point with that center you draw one more curve that is the third curve the second curve and third curve meet at some point join that point to the point on the radius which that is the end of the radius which is on the circle so you got the second tangent and both the tangent meet at a point P which is an external point that is the external point so you got a angle of 60 degree here this is the angle of 60 degree in this way you got the tangent by drawing the 90 degree angle or perpendicular with the help of the compass in the previous case you got the 90 degree angle with the help of the protractor in both the cases you got the angle between the tangent 60 degree means the both the tangents in, are inclined at an angle of 60 degree 
here by using the protractor or by using the compass you can have the tangent you know this is the angle 120 degree in this way you got the tangent and you mark the point center O and OA and OB are the radii after drawing the two radii with an angle of 120 degree the next step is to draw the perpendicular at A and B there are two methods to draw the perpendicular at A and B that is one by using the protractor and the other by using the compass 